Oh, it's great to be back in Indy, the month of May. It's just that whole uh, kid in a candy store moment, it's fun and it's exciting. And at the same time, I have to just start to shelve that and move in with more detail with the Andretti Autosport team. And those guys have been great. Uh, all the other drivers are here today and offering advice. And it's just neat to, to feel the team concept of this. You know, Andretti Autosport has five entries. And I hope by the end of uh, you know two weeks from now, when we're getting close to qualifying time, that I'm an asset and that I'm able to help out. So right now, it's just getting the the nerves and the bugs worked out of it and it was nice to go through a couple phases of the rookie orientation this morning and then, and then they gave us the green light so we've been wide open since then and it's been nice to uh, settle in with the team and just communicate over the radio and you know feel the wind you know the wind is heavy today so there's a, a big headwind down the front and a tailwind down the back straightaway which requires a gear change you know on ovals I've only shifted one time before on ovals which was Pocono so it's cool to uh, you know start getting into the sequence of things that happen during race weekend. Well, it's a dream come true to, to drive an Indy in an Indy car during the month of May, and then to tie it into the double because I have my contract with Stuart Haas Racing and the, the NASCAR circuit. You know that's that's my day job. That's where the focus will be at the end of that day. Uh, but the month of May will be fun with this whole Indy car adventure, settling in with the team, and then of course it all finishes off with a big day of 1100 miles so it's special it's 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 unique it's different and it's a challenge and, and over time it'll just my name will be mentioned with those other three guys and you know John Andretti was the first one to try it and uh, you know with Stewart and with Robbie Gordon it's really neat to be mentioned with those guys you know Tony would love to run this race and not run the uh, the Coke 600 um, yeah it's been fun to talk with them and, and to have the um, the experience level that he has as a driver and then as an owner on the cup side, it's really helped our relationship develop. Uh, just getting in with the team uh, and having the communication over the radio, uh, making a couple car changes and getting my feedback from it. You know, my way of describing a change is different than normal IndyCar guys. And so Craig Hampson, our lead engineer, has a, has a not a tough job, but a different job than normal. You know, the speed thing is fun, and we'll have a chance in a couple weeks to go even faster. But today it's about uh, working on the fundamentals. I'm blown away by the, the, the help that they're giving and just uh, the team rate camaraderie. It's really nice to see these guys here and engaged and involved. And then with Michael standing there as well, it's, uh, it's like family. Today is a, a much easier day to get in the car and digest it all because of last year. I would have hated, I think, to have compressed everything into last year. So it's been nice to work on the details behind the scenes, to have team meetings, and just to kind of work with all the people over this last year. Now it's serious. Now it's race time. Now we're settling in to run 220. You know, it's uh, the open wheel feel and the bugs hitting the visor. It's uh, it's unique and it's different. It reminds me when I first started out racing open wheel cars. Uh, you know, little legend cars and dwarf cars, and uh, except it's a little different at 220. Yeah, when you have your own stopwatch to look at right. in a cup car, you're always trying to go better. And then I saw the mile an hour creeping up, and I just started to ignore it Good. and go off of feel. Now that you start gaining more mile an hour, things things change. It's like you just ramp it up.